a holistic view of national security. Does it sound unparalleled? But what does it mean? When it comes to national security, people used to think it was just about catching spies, catching spies, and catching spies. Whether it was underground work in the revolutionary era, or the struggle against Taiwan and the covert war between China and the United States after the founding of the People's Republic of China, the traditional field of national security was relatively narrow, mainly focused on the counter-espionage and intelligence to safeguard the political and regime security. At that time, the question of who is our enemy and who is our friend was also relatively clear, focusing on the struggle. Don't understand? Go to watch spy drama. But if you are stuck with this impression, you have failed to keep up with the times. Today, the so-called national security means that a country's political power, sovereignty, unity, and territorial integrity, people's well-being, sustainable development of economy and society, and other major national interests are relatively free from internal and external threats, and the country keeps the ability to maintain such security. Eh, the definition is so complicated. Generally speaking, all factors that may endanger a country's political and social stability and orderly development will be included in the category of national security. There are a total of more than 10 areas that need to be given high priority from the perspective of national security. For example, in addition to military defense against foreign invasion and political defense against infiltration and subversion in traditional fields, whether the ecology and environment are damaged, whether energy and resources can be continuously supplied, whether social security is guaranteed, whether nuclear facilities and technologies can be effectively protected, whether food is enough, whether prices are stable, whether fire protection and transportation management are guaranteed, and whether the network can respond to hacker attacks. It seems that everything is related to national security. Yes, such a new and overall security is the holistic view of national security, which was proposed by President Xi Jinping on April 15, 2014. It is our general program and action guide to deal with all kinds of risks and challenges at the critical stage of great national rejuvenation. Today, the scope of national security in time and space is very broad, and the factors involved are more complex than at any time in history. What endangers national security may be the destruction of the enemy, or our own negligence, or a natural disaster, or a man-made disaster, or even an alien invasion. The holistic view of national security first means that all areas of governance should be integrated into national security to promote the overall governance of national security. The holistic view of national security also means that safeguarding national security will not only be the work of the National Security Department, but also the common responsibility of government departments at all levels, people's organizations, financial institutions, enterprises and institutions, the military, and so on. What's more, it is the obligation of every citizen. All citizens share a responsibility for the fate of their country. National security is ultimately for the people's security and interests, and it is necessary to adhere to the mass line. In order to enhance the national security awareness of the whole people, April 15th of each year becomes China's National Security Education Day, and national security education has been included in China's national education system. As a country ruled by law, China will also take the national security law as the basis and foundation and form a complete and effective national security legal system by 2020. At last, but not least, no one can live without the others in today's world. Maintaining national security requires actively shaping the external environment and creating common security while paying attention to our own security. In a word, implementing the holistic view of national security should not only base ourselves on the great changes in the international situation, manage the surrounding and global planning, adhere to the bottom line thinking and risk prevention, pay attention to the combination of principles and strategies, but also strengthen the construction of national security capacity in terms of materials, technology, equipment, talents, laws, mechanisms, and other specific aspects. Of course, the cadre team of national security work should also be paid special attention and cherished. But wait, after reading so many words, are you ready to safeguard the national security?